All right, here's part two, okay? So I got this um, from, this is a brand I've been seeing for some time. It's called the Be Pure Lip Scrub with Shea Butter. But I have to say, guys, when I opened this, though, let me show you. This is how it looks like on the inside, guys. It's not even full. So this is the reason why, guys, I've slowly stopped, you know, buying stuff from Dollar Tree and stuff. Because it's like a hit or miss now. You can still get good products at Dollar Tree, at least in my opinion. But this is not filled to the top. Like, come on, come on. Maybe this is just the goth in me, guys. But I decided to try out this Ioni Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen in black. And I have to say, I don't like the consistency of it. Because usually, because, you know, I try to make things work when it comes to makeup. Especially when you're on a budget, right? But you still want good quality so it can last for a long time. So usually when I use this eyeliner, I let it dry. And then I apply like a black eyeshadow over the place where I use the eyeliner. And it's okay, but this is not my favorite eyeliner pen. I was doing some research about like makeup in the 2000s. And this was very popular, y'all. Okay, these are starting to make a comeback, and rightfully so. So this is from LA Colors. This is the makeup stick, and it's a twist-up, so you can use it as lipstick, uh, blush, or eyeshadow. But I would say get... I would get like an extra two because you don't want to use the same thing on like all different parts of your face. You know, I'm just concerned about like, you know, uh, you know, bacteria getting in my eye and stuff. So I just if I can, you know, I like to like disinfect my makeup and stuff. But that's just me, though. I am so glad, guys, that these makeup stick products are making a comeback. This one is from L.A. Colors. The color is pink satin. So I'll go ahead and swatch this. But I think, guys, honestly, these are becoming popular again because of the Asian beauty, um, you know, makeup and beauty industry. So like C Beauty and K Beauty. And um, and I don't know why a lot of people are not talking about Thai and Vietnamese makeup, y'all. Them looks be looking sick coming out of Thailand and Vietnam. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're into that kind of like glam type of beauty. But the natural Thai beauty look too, I really like. Or the Vietnamese look too, looks great. Um, but this color, I would just use it as an eyeshadow base. I, I don't, it wouldn't work on my lips. It would look crazy. But okay, at least for me. Stay tuned for the next part, y'all.